Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I have a very quick video for you today and it's just on border fabric. You might recognize this fabric as the one from the toilet roll holder that I made a few weeks back. So I'm going to show you very, very quickly how easy it is to cut up a border print or fussy cut a border print so that you get exactly the same section of border all the way through your quilting project or the toilet roll holder for example or anything else that you might like. Uh, so hang around and I'll show you how to fussy cut a border print. The first thing you want to do with a border print is determine which part of the border you actually want to use. You'll find lots of straight lines on there and I'm going to start with the one closest to the edge so that I have the least amount of wastage. The area that I want is five and a half inches and I'm going to go from this line here out five and a half inches. So this is going to be my focal point for all my cutting lines. Open your fabric out so that there's just the one layer. So I've got a six and a half inch ruler here and there's my five and a half inches. That five and a half inch line there is what's going to go on the edge of my fabric. I'm going to put the five and a half inches on the edge of that dark line there and then cut five and a half inches in. It doesn't matter about the bottom section whether it's perfectly straight or not because we can fix this later. I'll just put some paper under here so that you can see what I'm doing. So I've lined up my five and a half inch line with that grey line on my fabric. Keep that in place and you want to manipulate your fabric so that it stays nice and straight with that five and a half inch line. You can just use your thumbnail, pull the fabric in either direction so that you get your line perfectly lined up. Once you've done that and you're happy with it, then you can start cutting, but keep an eye on this. If it starts to go off a little bit as it does up here, stop cutting. So cut and walk, cut and walk. Stop there. You can see the fabric has been sliced along here. Just pull the fabric down and keep going until you get to the end. Line up your ruler again with that same five and a half inch mark. Make sure it's nice and straight and you can see that's where I've cut before. So we cut and we walk, cut and we walk until the fabric starts to skew. You only want to do this in small sections and then we can cut the rest. There's our first border print cut out perfectly at five and a half inches from the grey line out to here. Now we do need to just trim off this excess fabric here. So I'll turn that around, line up the five and a half inches on the very edge of your fabric and we can trim off this excess. Remember to keep it lined up nicely on the edge there. And there we have a beautiful five and a half inch strip of border print. We can do exactly the same thing with the next one. And remember our focal point is going to be this gray line just to the edge of these little scallops. Match up your previously cut fabric with the same pattern. So you can see the pattern here matches this pattern just here and everything else matches. So we're actually going to have a little bit of wastage on the edge here. This can be used as a binding later if you wanted to. So my five and a half inches is now lined up along this section here and I'll just have that little bit of excess to cut off when we finished along here. Once you've cut your next strip, you can see that this is exactly the same here. We just need to trim off this excess here. Turn it around and line up your five and a half inches with the edge of your fabric again. There are our two border prints. I'm going to continue and cut the rest. And this is the little bit of wastage that you have left over, which will be perfect in strip quilts or even for bindings. Then it's simply a matter of cutting out all the extra bits that you need. If you'd like to see how I've used this border print, then follow the link in the description. Thanks for watching.